Good evening, ladies. I absolutely had to do one last video before Yom Kippur because that is it. That's that's the end. It's tomorrow. I can't believe that the entire month of Elul is finished and Rosh Hashanah is finished and the 10 days between Rosh Hashanah and Elul are, and Yom Kippur are almost finished. And that is it. Yom Kippur is tomorrow and I had to speak to you one last time. And I wanted to tell you that sometimes we think that this mitzvah of these days of making tshuva, of, of deciding to change our ways and deciding to be close to Hashem and, and to change and to, to choose to be better and to choose to become closer to Hashem as close as possible. So for us it seems this mitzvah of, 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 of changing and this mitzvah of, of deciding to change our path and to get close to Hashem, it seems to us like it's such a big deal. It seems to us like it's something that is impossible, like such a great change, like something that is so beyond us, and it's not. It's so, it's so easy. All it takes is one thought. It's just to pause and think and and that is it. It's just one thought. That's all that it takes. And there is a pasuk that says, "Ki karov lechad avar meod befiha vilvavcha lasoto," which means this thing, this mitzvah of making tshuva, it's so close to you. It's so easy. It's something you easily do. It's something that is in your mouth and in your heart. And that is it. It's so close to you. It's not beyond us. It's not beyond the sea and in the sky. It's something that is so easy to do. And we have the Yetzirah, we have this voice inside of us that is telling us you can't do it, it's not something that you can keep up to, or, or come on, it's not you, what are you thinking you're going to become, this pure tzedikah from now on? But you know what, we shouldn't listen to this voice, and we shouldn't let this voice bring us down, and it's so close to us, it's so possible, it's so easy to do. And these days, they're almost passing. Yom Kippur is so close to us, and so soon it will pass as well. And we should take advantage of these days, and we should take advantage of this time, and not let it pass. And what does it take exactly, this tshuva? It's something that is so easy to do, you can just do it right this second. Just pause for a second, and, and think, just think of, how you want to be close to Hashem. Just think that what I do every day and how my life go by, they go by so quickly and we don't pay attention to the days that pass by. We don't pay attention to how quickly things end and how we just, we don't seem to notice that the days go by and we're wasting our time. Just pause for a second and think, Hashem, I want to be close to you. I don't want to waste my days. I don't want to let the time pass by. I want to be close to you today and tomorrow and next week and and all the things that I do that keep me away from you. I don't want to do them anymore. Whatever it is, and we all have our own things. We all have our own individual things that we feel that keep us away from Hashem. And it could be whatever. But you know what, Hashem? I don't want to do it anymore. And I, I can't guarantee guarantee that I will never do it again. But you know what? I don't want to. And that's all that matters. And that's all that it takes from you. Just want to be closer. So even just this second, you can pause and say, Hashem, you know what? All I want is just to be close to you. Please let me. <laughs> Please bring me as close to you as possible. Please help me change. Please help me change my way or, or find a path to you. And it says... The following it says, Hefreshish ben Aserat Yemet Chuva Lishar Yamim, which means there is a big difference between those ten days between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur and the rest of the days. Linyan Chuva Utfila, for the matter of, of making Chuva and getting closer to Hashem and davening. Kehefresh Haor Minachoshech, it's like the difference between light and darkness. They say that the difference between those days. And the, the rest of the days of the year, it's the same 
it's like the difference between light and darkness. What does it mean? That it's so much easier to do tshuva on these days. Every single thought counts. Every single brief second that you are, even just for a second, you're, you're thinking, I want to I be better. I want to be closer. This counts so much. And it's true that we can make tshuva. We can do tshuva every day. We can choose every day to change our ways. And we can choose every day to be closer to Hashem. There's no limit. And every day is possible. But during those 10 days, every single thought counts. Like so much more. And it means, and it says, V'yafa sha'a b'tshuva u'ma'asim tovim b'yamim ha'ele miyamim shlemim b'sha'ar yamim. And they say that one hour of making tshuva and one hour sha'a, it's not even, in Hebrew, it doesn't even necessarily have to mean an hour. It could even mean a minute or a, a brief moment. One time of making tshuva during those 10 days, it counts more than full days of tshuva and good deeds in other days. In during those 10 days, if you do tshuva, even for a brief second, it counts so much more than it would take, than it would count if you do tshuva even for hours and hours on regular days. During those days, Hamelech Basadeh, the king is in the field and he's waiting, he's waiting for just the smallest sign that you want to be close to him. These are the days and they're passing so quickly. Don't let them pass. Hold on to this moment. Hold on to this second. Make tshuva right now. And because you know what? In 48 hours, it's done. <laughs> and, and we don't want to miss this opportunity. And Bezrat Hashem, we should all have a meaningful Yom Kippur. And Bezrat Hashem, we'll see you all in Yerushalayim. Bezrat Hashem, this year already. That's it. Good evening.